Welcome back, everybody. Five cities in five days. Jake and Mimi live in Bothell this morning. We have loved coming to these different cities and giving you a sneak peek into what's been happening here and maybe give you a, an idea to come visit, especially here in the summer. The city of Bothell, I have been amazed at the transformation that has taken place in the downtown area. It used to be a place where you just drove through. Right. If 405 was jam packed, you, you went through Bothell just to get to I-5, yeah. exactly. And now this is a place where people can actually come and eat at restaurants, hotels, uh, housing. McMinimins where Office, we're at here exactly. live this morning, new hotel and all that, restaurants. So the city has been under a $150 million uh, program to revitalize uh, the core of downtown, including about $7 million in revitalizing Main Street. So this program included the demolition of 15 buildings. They moved State Route 522 and expanded the Bothell Everett Highway. Uh, they renovated a city park, city hall. You're looking at photos of some of that change. And of course, there's a ceremonial groundbreaking for the Main Street development and another photo showing off the finished product and all of the uh, people who came out for that ribbon cutting ceremony. This is something the city is really proud of, but they admit there's still a few things to work out. Bothell's coming along. We've really, we're turning into a place that people come to instead of just drive through. What we're focused on is, is having a, a denser population downtown with people who can, you know, with services that can be provided for those folks and also a transit. We're working with Sound Transit to bring re bus rapid transit to our, our downtown core so that we have a, an even easier connection with whether it's downtown Seattle or Bellevue or even Linwood and Everett. There was a setback, if you remember, to all that construction. A lot of you saw that giant fire in downtown Bothell that broke out at the Mercantile Building in July of 2016. It damaged and closed more than 20 businesses. The governor came here and essentially said, we will rebuild. The city all banded together, the community. And in a sense, Mimi, it actually helped catalyst a lot of the growth here. Some state funding came in, some state aid to try and rebuild. And that uh, was kind of a lack of a better term, a spark. It was a blessing to, in disguise. A blessing in disguise, mm -hmm. really, to help make things move even, even faster here as far as development goes. So here we are. Yep. So when you come down here, it's really interesting because you see that historic charm of Bothell that's always been here for the last 100 plus years. But then you also see all this new development, which is really interesting. And yep. it's brought a lot of people here.